It really is. I swear, my room is cleaner. All right, I we're somebody asked a question. Um, it is. It's getting cleaner. Stop giving me crap about my room. It's it's a mess. It is. But you know what? Because I'm getting ready for the adventure of a lifetime. So stay tuned for that. Odin project, the Odin project. Uh, O D I N, and you can go look it up. What do I think of the Odin project? Um. The Odin Project came to my attention several years ago, actually. I want to say it was probably 2018 or 2019. And I've been following it with intense interest for a long time. Um, when the Odin Project first came out, I was extremely pro-Odin Project. Um, I was really, mostly because I like that the Odin Project has essentially open-sourced or crowd source, if you will, education, particularly in the web development front, although as I understand it, Odin Project is not just web development. Um, but my, I had, I had two negative impressions about the Odin Project. So, um, you know, the, I'll, I'll, I'll just say it straight out. I think the Odin, Odin Project is a good use of your time. Um, because I, I feel like it's something that can be contributed to and it, it's, you know, it's not proprietary and they, um, you know, there's lots of good ideas in there. I, I, it's the same thing I said about Free Code Camp, except for the problem with Free Code Camp is the same sort of problem with, with, with the Odin Project. Um, as I've said before, for education uh, things uh, tend to, you know, not work. They, uh, it's, it's kind of sad. Um, and to contrast that really quickly, there is there was a series called Python the Hard Way, which I should probably do, which this guy basically, I mean, he made a book that was like super skinny. It was like this teeny tiny little book. And it was like, okay, now go learn this. Now go learn this and do this and make a project that does this. Now go learn this and do this and make a project that does this. And the, the book basically said, here's all the things you need to learn. Go learn them. And it didn't try to teach them the thing. Um, but, you know, where are you going to learn it? You, you, you got to see somebody doing it, right? So uh, my, the bottom line on the Odin Project is I don't think, uh, I, I, look, I just, I don't like for education things. I, I don't. I, I think that you can get that experience by more directly by identifying the specific skills that you need. And that was my biggest, there's the two negatives I told you. And that is the, the first negative about the Odin project is that it doesn't target, um, it's not specific enough, right? Um, and and that, that bothers me, right? Because the more removed you are from practicing an actual skill that you're going to perform on the job, um, the, the less, you know, I suppose, relevance it has, the, the less uh, uh, focus it has. Um, so to be completely, so for example, what would you do instead of the Odin project, right? Um, so as I understand it, the Odin project is, I haven't, I haven't even looked at it within the last two or three years. So I, I could be totally wrong. And if I am, please yell at me in the comments. Um, somebody yelled at me about pre code camp saying it's the videos are, are fantastic. I just watched the video channel and it's very informational and that's cool. Um, you know, you share, again, you are in charge of your own education. You can tell me to shut up and do whatever you want. That that's, if the, you know, always the takeaway is you are in charge. Don't let anybody else, anybody else tell you what to do. You are the one in charge of your own learning and you're the only one who knows you. Um, so anyway, and having said that, the Odin Project has lots of, it's, there's lots of ideas that you could get there. But I was told that it was, it was primarily focused on web dev. And then the question is, well, what kind of web dev, right? Um, you know, what are we, what are, what are we doing there, right? If we're, if we're just, um, uh, so, I mean, at least it's free, right? And, and yeah, there's a whole video I just made uh, recently about boot camps. Don't, you know, don't give your money to a boot camp usually, and please go watch that. Um, and so the Odin Project's primary positive thing is it's free. Uh, free code camp is free. Um, they try to sell you stuff on the side there, like most free projects. Uh, Odin Project doesn't have any of that and it's completely driven by the community, um, which is nice. Um, so, you know, the, the, the first one I would say is, is, is it, it only covers, you know, web dev and it may not cover the web dev that you want to do or the type that you need to do. And, and the fact that it covers web dev period, 
Um, I think I think I think the statistics bear out that web dev. We're, we'll talk about hunter devs next. Um, uh, it's written like a wiki, right? Um, uh, there's a lot of reading, simple exercise of small projects. Yeah. Um, and they do, I do like that. I'm glad you mentioned that. Um, so because, because the Odin project does kind of incrementally build on stuff and it, it, it as I remember it, it, it tells you about the project, but it doesn't have an interactive web page that says, you know, gold star, go on to the next one, gold star, go on to the next one, having you not learn anything. That's, that was my experience with free code camp. Uh, not my experience, the people who I helped, um, their experience. So the fact that, that the Odin project tells you stuff, uh, to do, and then lets you do your own evaluation and do it. And then, you know, form your own community to validate that, you know, what you're doing, all things that I strongly believe in and that it's, it's, it's driven by community uh, participation, which is not always a good thing, right? We've talked about stack exchange being crap. We, I, unfortunately, we talked about exorcism IO, which is, should get its own video. It's also in my opinion, crap, because it, even though it's official, uh, it just doesn't cover the stuff that you need. Um, and, and largely because it's community driven, right? And so, so again, that's my number one complaint against any of these things is they are not precise enough, uh, to match your needs. And you can't know that because until you know what your needs are. So, uh, there is another, um, uh, there was another failure and I think that was, um, the second failure, let me just spit it out while I'm still thinking of it, is is the technology choices that they pick for web dev. Um, I remember distinctly, and this was at least four years ago, that when I read through the list of things that they were having you learn and, and stuff, I was like, oh no, that is like the worst choice ever. Um, and particularly in the area of web development, there are really strong opinions about what is the best thing to learn and how should you learn it and, and where can you go to learn it. And, um, and I personally disagreed with over 80% of the technology choices that they made for web development. Uh, I was a web, last time I was a professional web developer was, you know, God, years ago, more than a decade, two decades ago. And so, you know, don't listen to me about what you should learn for web dev for that. You should talk to someone like learn with Leon or any number of other people who are regularly doing it. Make sure they're actually employed though. If, if they're not employed as a web developer, and by the way, what does that even mean, right? In, in 2024, a web developer can mean any number of things. And I did a whole video on that. Please go watch it uh, about the type of web that we're talking about. Doc web, app web, you know, broadcast web. What, do, what are we even talking about here? Um, so when you say you're a web dev, what does that mean? Does that mean you know how to use, make documentation with make docs? Or does it mean you know how to make apps, apps with React? Right. So, so the lack of specificity in Odin project and the choice of technologies, um, that is my memory of it. I don't agree with those choices of technologies. Both of those things are remediated by approaching your learning in the way that I talk about a lot in the boost, which is create your own plan, create your own projects, create your own focus. Uh, be very, very autodidactic about the thing and personalize the crap out of it. And next, somebody mentioned Hunter Devs. And that's exactly, Learn With Leon, one of his major points is that it's important to distinguish yourself from all the competition that you take their boilerplate projects or whatever, uh, if they exist, and you, you modify them and make them so that they are indistinguishable from something that you did for yourself because you have passion and you want to do it, not because you were checking a box off on some list here to get, to get a job. And, and that is going to count for so much more in the long term. whether, and that's why our first project is a CV, uh, you know, a static web doc and as a CV, because that's something that everybody has passion about and can easily demonstrate, you know, that they needed to do because it shows that they're ma maintaining their career and blah, blah, blah. I mean, there's a million reasons to do it. So, so that is my conclusion about Odin project. Um, you know, it, I think, I think people do things a little bit backwards. What they do is they, whether it be, you know, a gym membership or, you know, a uh, free code camp or Odin project or any of these things, I think they do things backwards. This probably needs its own video, but I'm going to say it anyway. And what they do is they say, if I buy this piece of gym equipment, I will get fit, right? They don't make a plan for what they need to do for the, to improve their fitness. They, 
buy the fitness equipment and or the gym membership and they sort of lazily or without really engaging think that it's going to fix the problem and it doesn't and then and then they're like oh no this gym equipment is not working and and it's not the gym equipment it was your plan you're, you got to have a plan. You got to know what you want. You got to know what you want to be. You got to know what you're going after. You've got to, you know, you know, you just got to be able to visualize that. And if you can't do that, I really truly think you're wasting your time. I really believe it. And I have wasted plenty of time. Uh, I've talked about this so many times. Um, yeah. And and it is true that, you know, going through some of these projects to a certain degree, I did this very thing with OSCP. I talked about this. I was going after my offensive security project, uh, my offensive security certification, because I felt like that would get me in the security industry. And then I started uncovering in the process, not by doing that, but by talking to other people as a part of my own plan, which included talking to other people in the industry, um, that that wasn't the job I wanted to do. And I, I've, I've said this many, many times, but the, the point is, is that, um, you know, in, in the sense that pre code camp or Odin project or something like that can maybe used to give you a taste of what it's going to be like to do those things. Great. But I really believe if you spend more time, uh, doing the other things about which there's been tons of videos I've made about, um, knowing who you want to be, know thyself, right? Knowing what you want to do every day. What are the specific activities you want to do every day? Is it web dev? Is it working on a computer? Do you like to type? Can you type? You know, what are your abilities? We talked about skills, abilities, or ask, you know, abilities, uh, skills, and, um, and knowledge the other day. You, you need to do this assessment. And when you do this, something like the Odin project becomes, it becomes less relevant, right? Because Odin project, a, a recipe book, free code camp, you can look at these, you know, smorgasbord of educational resources that are out there and you can zoom in on the pieces that you need and you can put them in your plan. And now you're in control of the plan. Bye. Oh, bye. Say hi. Love you. Bye. Um, so that's what I'm saying. <laughs> my wife's just headed off to work. So that's my, the point is the Odin project, in my opinion, has a lot more, I mean, if I saw it on the buffet of educational resources that I'm going to put into my, onto my plate, right? There's a lot more that I would be dishing up from Odin Project than Free Code Camp. And I like that analogy. I'm going to stick with that. Maybe I'll make a video about that. Because, because that's it. I mean, the Odin Project, has got, it's got a lot more things that I would put on the plate. Um, but, you know, you, you're going to need to make those evaluations for yourself. You're going to need to... I think you're going to need to start making your own still skill stack. There's another video about that. Please go to skillstack.io, S K I L S T A K.io. And the stuff for the first stage, starting your tech career, please make sure that you watch those boring videos about how to get started down the path, because so many people are going to get started incorrectly by, as I said, buying the gym equipment first and then deciding what kind of what they wanted for their body later and not knowing that, you know, they might have needed one type of gym equipment versus another, you know, because they didn't know up front. They just said, oh, I'll just buy this thing and it'll make me healthy because that's what they told me in the advertising. Right. And, and that, I mean, that's a horrible extreme example, but the point is the same. You are still going to be in charge and you need to take responsibility for taking charge. And, and I, I think that's probably all I should say about that. I keep ham hampering on that part. Um, he found out that after I did all this work and brought all these courses that I hate that I that I hated web dev. <laughs> but now you know you hate web dev, right? <laughs> Look, I worked in a career in web dev. I was Nike's webmaster for God's sake. And and I realized that I wanted to do the back end development more. And it took going through that to realize that, right? So chalk it up to experience. But but the rest of you watching this video. Just know that a lot of us veterans out there have wasted plenty of time trying to figure out what it is that we want to do in terms of a career. And the, the, the Odin project is just one piece of, of the menu uh, that you can go look for, look for this video is going to, I'm going to refer to this video and other videos as well because of that. Um, and you know, you're in charge. So Odin project is good. Um, as it has more nutrients. How about that? It's not junk food. It's not educational junk food, but, you know, <laughs> make sure you, you know, pick wisely when you are choosing your meal. <laughs>